In Rune Rock, Rune Core for the Intel NUC Part 1 and 2, I have showed you how to prepare an Intel NUC computer for the use with Rune Rock Music Server software. Now we are ready to see how this little wonder can be used. Rune is about the most versatile and least single minded music server software I know. The software is fully transparent for audio and thus potentially is able to provide the highest quality audio achievable. But whether you will enjoy this optimal performance depends on the configuration and the hardware used. The prepared Intel NUC computer running Rune Rock is basically a headless server but can also be used as a player. If you connect a headphone or amplifier directly to the NUC and define the analog output of the NUC as an endpoint, you can already play music. But don't get your expectations up too high for the sound quality will be rather low. Computers are great for handling bits but analog sound is not their forte. You do need to use an external device to convert the bits to analog sound and there are several ways to do this. Let's start with the simplest. As said, you don't want to have the computer do the digital to analog conversion. Computers are notoriously noisy and that will destroy the analog low level information while that is where the fine details are hidden. Especially the clock that is needed to offer the samples just on time for conversion can be and almost always will be disturbed by interference of other clock signals in a computer. That not only affects the DA conversion but also digital outputs. SPDIF signals have the clock signal embedded and external DA converter will have to slave to this clock. Therefore the SPDIF output will offer poor quality too. In general the best way to connect a DA converter to a normal computer is using a modern version of USB audio. This is a USB 2 connection using an asynchronous protocol and is used by all modern DA converters, abbreviated DAC. The computer over USB for audio bits until its buffer is full. It then signals the computer to stop sending. In the meantime it starts converting the bits, timed by a local clock oscillator, to analog audio. When the buffer starts to empty, the DAC sends a request for more bits and so on. The clock oscillator in the DAC plays a very important role. A poor clock will always result in low audio quality. Unfortunately, a good clock alone is not a guarantee for good quality since other factors come to play as well, like the DA conversion, the power supply and the PCB design. And even the analog output stage can be of great influence. A good DAC is a DAC that is properly designed using quality components. See my reviews to make your pick. Anyway, if you want the Intel NUC Rune Rock computer to be close to the stereo, a modern DAC connected over USB will be the best choice. Only when you want to use an AV receiver that has HDMI inputs, you might try to connect the NUC to the receiver using HDMI. Although audio is transported in between a video signal, good AV receivers manage to straighten the signal and so offer a decent sound quality. So we now have two scenarios. The Intel NUC running Rune Rock connected over async USB to a DAC, or the Intel NUC running Rune Rock connected over HDMI to an AV receiver. In both cases, there might be room for improvements. Whether that pace depends on the quality of your stereo, the way it is set up, and whether you are a critical listener. Suggestions I do here are proven to improve the audio quality in my set 1. That doesn't automatically mean they will work in your setup, but indication where it will work and where not is rather difficult if not impossible. I can only guarantee you, you won't hear the difference over a set of 50 euro P PC speakers. The improvements all have to do with lowering the noise, so it will not mask the low level information. Let's start with the power supply that came with the Intel NUC computer. This is a so-called switching mode power supply, SMPS abbreviated. 
It works by switching a voltage at very high frequency, about the same a class D amp works. The advantages are clear, low component cost and very high efficiency. The disadvantage for audio is that the switching frequency might, or almost always will, pollute the power feed. This causes the audio signal to be masked to a certain degree. A DAC is in fact a digital controlled tap, like a beer tap, where the current is like the beer. Feed a beer tap with slim beer and you get a very poor tasting beer. Feed a DAC with a polluted voltage and it will produce a poor sound. So if you go for quality and you want to connect the DAC directly to the NUC, consider a high quality power supply. This will often be the so called linear power supply, an old fashioned transformer with electronics. It is possible to design a switching mode power supply that is just as silent but that is often more costly than a linear design. A decent power supply will set you back around 100 euros, a very good power supply will be more in the region of 300 to 400. Please check if the power supply is able to deliver enough wattage for your configuration by finding out the so called processor TDP in watts and adding 5 watts for SSDs, 6.5 watts for a 2.5 inch hard disk, 6 for the sound card and 3 watts for a USB device. My 6th generation i3 with a M.2 SSD and a 2.5 inch spinning drive ran on the S-Booster BOTW PMP Eco 18 to 19 volts, but the 36 watts might not be sufficient for more powerful systems. If you google for Intel NUC linear power supply you find more powerful options. Do bear in mind though that all power supplies are equal but some are more equal than others. Now we have a more or less clean signal going asynchronously over USB to the DAC. This can be powered in several ways. If it is powered over USB, the quality of the power supply you use for the Intel NUC is even more critical. If it is powered by its own internal power supply, there's not much you can do. But if your DAC uses a wall wire power supply, chances are it's a poor performing switching mode power supply too. In many cases replacing this power supply by an audio grade power supply does improve the audio quality considerable. You will not use the USB cable that came with the DAC but use an audio grade cable. I use the AudioQuest Cinnamon USB. It's affordable and offers good quality. You could try devices to further clean the signal like the AudioQuest Jitterbug and the old DAC ADQ Galvanic Separator. See the links in the show notes. There are other practical considerations. If your NUC has a fan inside you might want to place it so that the sound is dampened while at the same time letting enough cool air flow to it. Also hard disks can be noisy, another thing to keep in mind. All those problems don't occur when you place the Intel NUC Rune Rock computer in another room and use a device near your stereo that receives the audio bits over the network. Rune has developed a very sophisticated protocol especially for this job called Rune Advanced Audio Transport, RAD for short. It doesn't only send audio data to the playback device but also remote control signals including volume. If the playback device supports it, you can have Rune control the, often analog, volume control of the playback device. So there is no longer the need to use the DSB power to level all music. Something I dreamed of for years. Currently most devices don't support this, but that's a matter of time. Furthermore, RAD also sends some metadata like track name, album name, artist and cover art. Again, this is not yet beneficiary to most devices. And talking of devices, what are those? The simplest form of Rune Endpoint, as Rune calls any device that offers playback over the Rune software, is the network audio adapter. You could say it is a USB output that is driven over the network. 
a Raspberry Pi with a headboard that offers either SPDIF output or contains a DA converter is a networked audio adapter. Using the SPDIF output to drive a DAC can offer rather good quality. Headboards, the expansion board standard for the Raspberry Pi, containing a DAC offers far lower quality. If you want higher quality devices like the Sonori Micro Randu and the SOTM SMS200 offer rather clean USB feeds, but you do need a DAC that has a USB input. See the show notes for the links to reviews. There are also quality devices that offer SPDIF and or even I2S feeds. Reviews are in the making. With the exception of the Raspberry Pi solutions, networked audio adapters are relatively expensive solutions compared to DACs and DAC amps combinations that incorporate a room ready receiver. But they might be a better solution if you already have a quality DAC or want a free choice of DAC. Do realize that when the power supply of the DAC and the networked audio adapter are poor quality switching mode power supplies, these will again reduce the audio quality and should be replaced for audio grade power supplies. Rune Labs developed the Rune Ready standard so that incorporating a Rune Ready function into a device is rather low cost. This means that over time there will be more and more DACs that have a network interface and Rune Ready support. The potential Audio quality when using the Intel NUC Rune Rock server is extremely high as can be concluded from the supporters of the format like Audio Alchemy, Oralic, Brinkman, DCS, Krell, Meridian, MQB, NAD, PS Audio and other high end brands. The advantage of using the network is not only that it, the server can be placed at great distance but also that the Ethernet protocol like Async USB is asynchronous meaning the clock in the playing device rules. At the lower end the blue sound program of streamers are also room ready and thus can be used as room endpoints. And I already mentioned the Raspberry Pi with a headboard containing a DA converter as truly low end solution. Again do realize that when the power supply of the DAC is of poor quality, it will again reduce the audio quality and should be replaced for an audio grade power supply. Many decks also offer volume control and thus can function as a preamp. But some brands announced integrated amps. Belcanto announced the ACI 600 integrated amp that not only is room ready but also MQA certified. At $25,000 it might not be within reach for many, but ELEC has announced the DS A101G that will set you back a mere 599 and offers a 2 times 100 watt bash tracking amp. In between you find several NAD amplifiers that can be made room compatible by a Bluesound module. And the Bluesound amp versions must be mentioned too of course. This video is produced in July 2017 and at that moment no serious room ready speakers were on the market and only ELEC has announced that a number of their speakers will become available as active models that will use Wi-Fi to receive room ready signals. But there are many rumors on other brands. This might be the solution that is appreciated by many. You only need to place the NUC with a rock somewhere in the house connected to the network while in the living room two active speakers need to be connected to the mains outlets only. Room Rock is also available for some NASs, so why not run it on a NAS? Well, the only reason to do that is to be fashionable. To be able to tell your friends that you have a NAS running. And if that's what you want that's fine, but do realize that Room Rock does require at least an Intel i3 processor and that the OS should be running on an SSD drive. Otherwise Rune will be very slow or even unusable. NASs with those specs are very expensive, far more expensive than an Intel NUC computer. And don't forget a NAS is essentially nothing else than a computer that runs specific software to, for sharing volumes. 
the NUC running RUG is in fact also a NAS or even a server, but then fully optimized as Rune Music Server. I use an 8TB USB drive connected to the NUC and have it backed up to a Drobo rate drive for security. But if you like, you can use a normal consumer grade NAS for storage and the NUC running Rune as music server. Using the network to separate the server from the audio components might be a very good solution. Then a high quality power supply for the NUC might not provide quality improvements. But like network cables and linear power supplies for switches, it might give improvements in high quality setups. Also consider that you can have a mix of qualities in the house. The highest quality for the living or listening room if you are lucky enough, lower quality for the garage and study and basic quality for the children's room. Don't forget that Rune also works perfectly with Sonos and AirPlay equipment. It will automatically downsample high rise music for both systems. You can set up an unlimited number of endpoints, combine them in groups and send one of eight separate audio streams to each group. You can also set EQ and other properties per endpoint. And that's all great but the real power of Rune to me is the unsurpassed navigation and the metadata. Some say that the $500 for a lifetime subscription is too expensive. And it will be to some. But consider that we have paid lots more for quality CD players and SA CD players that offered less quality and now have no longer serviceable laser optics. I know people that have spent more on accessories for this CD player. And if you don't want to spend the money that's fine too. Use whatever you want to use, but don't use the NL1601 HB project promo code to test Rune free for two months. For I assure you there's no way back. Rune is constantly improving their software and protocols and I will of course keep track of the developments. So stay in contact by subscribing to this channel or my newsletter or follow me on Twitter, Facebook or Google+. See the show notes for the links. If you have a question, post it below this video but please don't ask me for buying advice. See my about questions video to find out why. If you like this video please consider supporting the channel through Patreon and see super exclusive videos too. Just one dollar a month will do. The link is in the show notes. And don't forget to tell your friends on the web about this channel. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.